welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about unexpected dilemmas and how we can fix them. So let's get into the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I thought it was a pretty good headway cat. As you saw in the beginning clip, we actually had a some sort of a break or a missing of silicone that happened in the corner of our tank. And so we had to do the one thing that we all hate to do, completely disassemble the tank. It could no longer be used now that it has this gap in the tank. So when an issue like this happens, it, the best thing to do is not panic, but you do need to start draining all the water out. And here we're gonna set up a pitcher of water to put all of our fish in so that they still have somewhere to be so that we can switch out these tanks. Heater's unplugged. Pizza. I didn't get enough of it. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, little bat. Aren't you lucky to have another tank? Okay, I'm gonna pop in here because now that you have seen us fix and put in this new tank, if you didn't have another tank, possibly move them to a tank you already have that is safe for them. If not, they will be okay in that picture as long as you add an air stone or a bubbler and a heater. But you will need to get another tank to replace the one that cracked. Also, please don't judge new me, new day. So I don't have my awesome Hedwig hat. It's just me in a cozy sweater. We actually did put the little Akaras back in that tank, but only for a couple days. After we refilled the tank, got it all fixed and put back together, we decided to redrain it, take out those fish, put them with their fellow Akaras that are a little bit older, and put in some uh, fancy guppies that we have been trying to have a space to line breed. And it's very exciting to see these guppies get to have their own little space. you haven't already and you've made it this far in the video could you please subscribe
as you can see, we have had these little pleco eggs bouncing and they have turned into little pleco fry. So they are ready for their own grow out tank. We do have some still in the cave with daddy. So we need to remove both and add them all into one collective tank. So we're just gonna put them in a little breeder box first before adding them to the tank. This is our clutch of our new pair. There is probably about 60 or more just in this box. Come on, just subscribe. It's so easy and you don't even have to think about it later. As you can see, the flow of this filter isn't very fast, and even when we turn the dial, it doesn't make a difference, which means this filter needs a clean. Now, when we fish keepers say clean, we do not mean with soap and water. <laughs> we just mean a rinse, a squeezing out of extra materials from your filter floss, or even replacing the filter floss if it's needed. Please don't use soap in your filters, please. The one that always takes for There we go. concludes our dilemma episode if you have any more dilemmas that you'd like for us to cover please put a comment down below otherwise we will see you in the next one bye